Um, this is the first shots with the SRC or Sharps bolt. So let's go ahead and see how well it uh, how well it functions here. All right, yeah, it definitely, uh, definitely functioned okay. So, you can see it in there, nice and wet. I've been asked guys in the past, um, what are the most important components to uh, building or buying or improving your AR-15? And really there's a bunch of different components, but probably one of the most important, if not the most important component when it comes to reliability is the bolt itself. I have an opportunity today to review for you guys the Sharps Rifle Company Reliabolt. This is, uh, this, this is a bolt that, uh, that Sharps sent me to do some testing for them, and I think we've thoroughly tested it, and I feel like I can give you guys a pretty good review of, of the Reliabolt itself. So. Um, so right off guys, if we look at the difference between your standard mil spec bolt, this is the bolt out of my um, Smith & Wesson MMP15. Okay, so this is your quintessential uh, uh, mil spec bolt. Okay, if we look at a bolt, the mil spec bolt versus uh, the Sharps bolt, you can see that there's some physical differences between the two. So if you look at the mil spec bolt, you'll see that there's, that there's squared lugs, okay? And, uh, and that's how your traditional bolt looks like. But if you look at the Sharps Rifle Company bolt, you can see that the lugs have been curved and contoured. And what really that does is it, it guides the bolt into battery. So when the, bolt, when the lugs on the, the bolt is interacting with the lugs on the barrel, um, the, the, the contoured lugs here actually guide it into battery. And what it also does is it aids it then when in a, in a really dirty rifle, it actually should give you some extra reliability when the rifle is really, really dirty. So there's actual uh, real reasons why they've actually contoured the bolt to look the way it looks. And, and it's, actually, so it's actually quite striking in, in the difference between the two. The difference between your, your standard mil spec bolt and the reliable doesn't stop there. A couple things about the actual mil spec bolt is that there's three things that are done to it that I feel is incredibly important to every bolt. And not every bolt um, that's produced by different companies does, this pro does these processes. But I feel that, um, that by having these processes done, it's, it's definitely a more reliable bolt. Um, on your, your standard mil spec bolts, you, they undergo what's called shot painting, okay? And, and all, these, all these terms are gonna be listed down in the description box below uh, so that you guys can understand what, what we're talking about here. But what shot painting does is it really creates a residual compressive layer, which aids and does a couple things. It, it takes care of some of the tensile stresses that have been induced into the metal during the manufacturing process, but it also uh, creates that, that um, that residual compressive layer that aids in its ability to be more resilient uh, when it comes to stresses. And uh, again, I'm gonna leave in the description box below uh, uh, descriptions of those terms, but uh, when it comes to shot painting, I'm also going to uh, give you guys a, a video link down below so that, that you can watch that and kind of understand the, the process behind shot painting as well. Because shot painting is really, really important for the overall reliability and life of, of the actual bolt itself. Uh, mil spec bolts are also high pressure tested and magnetic particle inspected. And that really um, gives you some confidence in knowing that the bolt has passed a high pressure test and it's done so without failure and it should give you a little bit more uh, comfort knowing that, that that bolt has has gone through that testing. Now not every company does that. Not, some companies don't do any shot painting on their bolts. Uh, other companies don't only batch test 
uh, or do a batch testing on their on their high pressure testing. So you don't know if your bolt's been gone through, undergone testing or not. And um, and me, I'd rather have uh, the peace of mind knowing that my my bolt has actually been through those processes. Now the Relia bolt has ha has all three. They shot peen the surfaces of the bolt. They also uh, are high pressure test and magnetic particle inspect. So these have definitely gone through all the, the quality control as well as those quality processes in order to make more reliable bolts. You'll notice also guys that there's a different coating on the reliable versus the, the standard mil spec, mil spec coating. The Reliable has what's called an MP3 coating. And what that actually is, is it's an electroless nickel based coating that uh, kind of um, introduces uh, nickel as well as Teflon into the actual metal of the, of the bolt. So it's a, it's a super, super good coating. And what it does is it, um, it's a self lubricating coating and so it's gonna aid in more reliability, especially under drier conditions without as much lube. It's also very easy to clean. Now I, have, um, I haven't scraped the carbon off the, the end of the, the bolt here, but I have just taken a, a dry rag and wiped down the, the rest of the bolt, and you can see that it's come, come very well clean. And we've had about four, a little under 400 rounds um, through this bolt it's a, itself. So uh, under four, just under 400 rounds, you can tell that uh, just wiping off with a dry rag, the majority of that bolt has come squeaky clean. And so um, it, it aids in cleaning, but it's also extremely corrosion resistant. So this MP3 coating gives you better lubricity. It gives you easier cleaning and it also aids in corrosion resistance as well. And that's, those are three huge uh, benefits that you get from, from the MP3 coating as well. And it's a superior coating in my, in my opinion. Another aspect to the mil spec bolt is that it's made of 158 carpenter steel and that's standard, okay? 158 carpenter steel and, and the bolt carrier groups are usually made out of those as well. The Reliabolt, however, is made out of what's called S7 tool steel. And why that's important and what advantages that you gain over that and why Sharps went with it is because that it, that it gives you 75% increase in tensile strength over 158 carpenter steel. It also gives you a 60% improvement in yield strength. And again, the descriptions for those items are going to be listed down below. So really, technically, it is a superior steel to the 158 carpenter steel. And so, you know, you, you're not only getting a better coating um, and you're not only getting the mil spec properties of its manufacturing but you're getting um, a real you're getting several technological steps forward with the reliable you're getting a better a better function when it comes to the contoured lugs you're getting the shot painting the high pressure tested high pressure testing the magnetic particle inspection you're getting the mp3 coating and you're getting that s7 tool steel it really is a a phenomenal bolt and again several technological steps ahead of your your traditional mil spec bolts now i've run i've run this bolt through two different rifles i've i've run it through uh, my spr which is a bushmaster rifle and i've ran it through my m p 15 uh, rifle as well, and I had zero malfunctions. We've we've shot just under under 400 rounds. I think it's right around 380 rounds uh, through those guns combined, and we had zero malfunctions at all with the with the rifle. And as you can see, um, or with the bolt. And as you can see, the the bolt has really come come quite clean just by wiping the surfaces down. I need to scrape the carbon on on the end of it, uh, but for the most part, the cleaning process is going to be a lot a lot easier than your traditional bolt in your direct impingement guns. And that is a huge, huge um, advantage when it comes to that MP3 coating. So if you guys are really um, getting ready to build a, a rifle, or if you want to improve over your non mil spec or even your mil spec bolts, I think the Reliable is a really, really good option. And like I said, guys, this the the bolt on the bolt on the AR-15 is one of the most likely components to fail, if not the most likely. And 
and have a, having a spare bolt is definitely worth having. You know, you can put it in your pistol grip, you can put it in a cleaning kit, and having a, a spare bolt around is really, I think, a decent idea. And uh, this, this bolt has come just in time from Sharps uh, because I'm going to be building a, uh, a brand new SPR or DMR rifle here pretty soon, a new project gun. And uh, this is going to be the bolt that is going into that project gun. I, I'm impressed with it enough that I know that this is exactly what I want to have in my, my next SPR. So that's going, that's going in my next gun. But uh, anyway, guys, if you have any questions or comments about the Reliable, go ahead and leave me a comment down below in the, in the comment section. And if you also have, have uh, questions, you can head over to the SRC's website and, and check them out as well. Um, if you go to buy a, a Reliable from them, go ahead and let them know that Doc Tac Dad, Doc Tac Dad sent you. And maybe if I, if, uh, if I, if I can uh, finagle something, maybe I can get you guys a discount code uh, with SRC here in the future. And if so, I'll post it in this video. But uh, anyway, guys, just a phenomenal bolt. And I think you'd be really well served with it. So if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, uh, thank you for liking and sharing the video with your friends. It really does help the, help the channel out. I really appreciate it. And as always, guys, thanks very, very much for watching. And we'll catch you in the next video. See ya. Sharps bolt test with Doc Tech Mom shooting it out of the Smith & Wesson M&P 15. Go for it. Shooting low. Nice. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. All right, SRC, doing some more rounds. This is probably 200 rounds into the bolt by now. So here we go. This is just some 50 round shots, 50 yard shots. Just kind of close in. Let's run out. I'm going to run after a uh, thing real quick here. This is a two and a half power on the SPR. It's more than enough to do like some some fairly close in shooting. Uh, both eyes open. You can shoot both eyes open with this. So, you know, for those of you guys that are curious about uh, the Vortex Viper scope, this is the two and a half to ten. And uh, like I said, yeah, you can definitely, you know, you can definitely do some some close-in shots with both eyes open. It's not as fast as an a. It's not as fast as a red dot, but it's still pretty quick. So anyway, but so far this SRC bolt, um, this is probably 100 and what 110 rounds, 210 rounds now. Uh, it's been flawless, 100%. No, no malfunctions at all in both my rifles. Oh, 220 rounds. So, locked open. As far as I know, man, as far as I can tell, there's literally been zero uh, hiccups with that, uh, with that bolt. Uh, it feels smooth. I don't feel any, any problems that way. Uh, you know, so... Literally, I can't tell any difference at all um, with its operations and something else. So anyway, that's just uh, 20 rounds real quick with the, uh, with the SPR and the SRC or Sharps, Sharps bolt, their AR-15 bolt. Just a phenomenal bolt. And for the money, you know, if you guys are doing your builds, man, I would definitely, uh, I'd definitely probably just opt for a really, really nice bolt right out of the gate. So anyway, guys, uh, there's the Bushmaster. Uh, uh, SPR with the uh, SRC bolt.